Welcome back to the last segment of English Studies on the Formula Letter and its Features. The following is a well-written sample of the Formula Letter extracted from Book 1 of New Concepts English for Junior Secondary School, precisely page 104. Here we have the address of the writer, written at the top right side, Maryland Secondary School. The comma is added. Then we have a Maryland that is the location of the school. The comma is also added at the end of it. Then we have Ikeja, that is the local government area. The comma is also added. Then we have Lagos, the name of the state in which the letter is being written. The full stop is added. Then below it is the date, 28th August 2014. Take note, the TH is placed by 20, not above it, because it is not a position, and there is a comma after the month just before the year. Then here we have the address of the receiver at the left side just below the date. The chairman, the comma is added, National Sports Commission, a comma is also added. National Stadium, a comma is added. Suru Leri, a comma is added. Then Lagos, the full stop is added. Then we have salutation. Dear sir, a comma is added. Coming immediately after the recipient's address. Then what follows is the title which is placed in the middle of the letter. The writer goes straight to the point. Improvement of athletics in Nigeria. Take note, all the major words are capitalized. Improvement, athletics, and Nigeria. Only the conjunctions are not capitalized. Then we have the body of the letter, which goes thus. Many of Nigerian children and young people are interested in athletics. Some in the recent past have made a name and a lot of money for themselves and the nation through athletics. Our dear Shioma Ajuwon, who got the first Olympic gold medal for our country, is one of such people. Unfortunately, the government and the sports commission have not done much to encourage Nigerian children. I would like the chairman to encourage us by promoting athletics through the following ways. First, children in nursery, primary and secondary schools should be encouraged to engage in athletics. The sports commission should try to catch them young by making provisions for practice and competitions in all schools. In my school, for example, we do not have a field. Whenever it is time for us to have our annual inter-house sport competitions, we usually go to another school. The sports commission should help the school by providing equipment that we encourage students and people to take part in athletics. Also, the chairman should encourage private owners of schools and the government to provide a sporting environment for schools. Many stadia can be built in neighborhoods so that the heads of schools can train their children there. Sports officials should start training children from the age of four or five in neighborhood stadia. At this stage, their various talents can be identified. This type of training can be done at local, state, and federal levels. The chairman can also encourage athletics by ensuring that officials at the sports councils shun tribalism and nepotism so as to select the best and most talented children and young people. Many who are not talented are sometimes chosen because the sport officials know them. 
such people may not do well in competitions. This leads to the waste of the nation's money. Finally, the government should reward those who engage in athletic competitions at all levels. This will make them do even better. Everyone needs encouragement. Athletes can be encouraged through scholarship awards or by being given rewards of money or other gifts. I believe that the above point, if put into practice, will help to improve athletics in Nigeria. Then we have the ending of the letter. Yours faithfully, the signature, William Ulu. You can study this letter on your own. This is where we are going to end our lesson today. Now, you can write down your assignment. Write a letter to the chairman of your local council development area explaining to him why a particular major road should be rehabilitated. For further reading, visit https colon slash slash www.bbc.co.uk Thanks for listening. Bye.